there is a trend in recent years uh, towards uh, improving uh, gender equality and uh, uh, diversity uh, in workplace. Uh, women's representation uh, in um, medicine since the last uh, decades has gradually increased and uh, now over 50% of medical students uh, are uh, female, but still uh, there is an underrepresentation of uh, uh, female in uh, specific specialties uh, such as uh, ENR uh, in interventional neuroradiology. Uh, so the purpose of uh, this study, led by a female team uh, from WFITN, was to try to identify uh, issues, obstacles, uh, uh, and to try to evaluate if uh, similar issues uh, were uh, also encountered by male. So surprisingly, uh, among the main results, uh, a large uh, proportion of uh, women responded uh, to the survey. Uh, it means around 40%. So this is an overrepresentation of real life. So that means first that the subject matters. Uh, then a greater proportion of uh, uh, female is among the youngest, meaning uh, less than uh, 46 years old. So it may be encouraging, uh, saying that there is more attraction for the specialty. I hope it's not on the contrary, that it's because they live earlier the specialty. Uh, then uh, it was important to notice that most of the time, uh, no women are part uh, of a team or sometimes as just as one in a team. And then uh, the usual um, uh, uh, topics were that we face, uh, we see less female uh, are married, less female have children, uh, less female held a supervisory role, less female uh, are uh, in academic uh, rank, uh, the, the usual uh, stereotypes of the specialty. Interestingly, when it comes to talk about perception, uh, male and female uh, perceived certain aspects very differently. For example, females uh, strongly agreed that uh, women are disadvantaged uh, when uh, pursuing a career in interventional neuroradiology, where males disagreed strongly. And the last point uh, was that females are still worried about uh, breaking news about pregnancy and uh, were made to feel like uh, their pregnancy was a problem. I would say uh, yes and no. Uh, in fact, I was surprised uh, and uh, 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 a bit sad to realize that if given the choice again, uh, a great proportion of uh, female would maybe choose a different specialty. So maybe uh, it's because they uh, need uh, to work harder to get a better position, or maybe uh, be it's because they have a great greater difficulties uh, to find a, a good balance between work, uh, our life, and family life. I would say yes a little. First, uh, thanks to uh, those kind of initiative, uh, communications, uh, the society and our male colleagues uh, uh, will become aware of our difficulties. Uh, at a different level, our uh, learned societies uh, chair, um, build chairs for diversity uh, and uh, promote dedicated membership program, mentor uh, match programs, so things are moving. Um, at a different level, uh, our personal level, a kind of uh, sorority uh, started through a WhatsApp group, uh, allowing uh, to get to know uh, one another better and uh, share our difficulties. So I would say it's a little better, but uh, there is still a great uh, margin of improvement. Um, yes, I would say yes. My main issue personally was the perception, perception uh, from my colleagues and from the, uh, the, the patients too. Uh, when I was uh, younger, I, fe I felt difficult to um, be taken seriously in a male-dominated work. 
uh, but uh, uh, then with, uh, uh, with uh, getting older, uh, increasing my experience and my skill, I'm more uh, recognized as a doctor than a, as a woman.